Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review the new British horror film, All My Friends Hate Me. And this is from director Andrew Gaynard and written and starring Tom Storton and focuses on Pete, who's cautiously excited about connecting with his collegehood friends when they decide to plan a birthday weekend for Pete. And as the weekend goes on, each of these friends start to sour on Pete and a strange, uncomfortable situation start to brew. And this film is walking an incredible tightrope of tone between being really darkly funny and silly and fun and uncomfortable and awkward and unnerving, honestly. And it's balancing those two things in a really impressive way where it's like, it doesn't feel weird to be laughing at one point and then the next moment just feeling like, ooh. Like, uh, just feeling so uh, socially so awkward and uncomfortable. And the discomfort that gets ratcheted up in this film is something special and something else. Because there's very few films that I've watched in a long time where I've been sitting there feeling so uncomfortable along with the character in the film. Because just the way that Gaynard's able to capture the atmosphere and the tone of those very relatable situations is really impressive. And there's a the awkwardness in dealing with the themes of, you know, after a long time trying to reconnect with somebody and you have these group of friends you haven't seen in years and, you know, you're just trying to navigate this new kind of existence and relationship that you have that might be different than what you used to have. And this film is able to capture those things in a really meaningful and poignant way. And you see... Pete dealing with his relationship with a woman who he had former feelings for and maybe not, not fully gone and his fiance and or well his girlfriend who he hopes to be his fiance, his former best friends, some other people who he can't quite pinpoint exactly who they were from his college experience. And you have each of these characters who are really well cast with a great supporting cast in this film featuring Georgina Campbell and Joshua McGuire, Dustin Dimry Burns, Graham Dixon, Antonia Clark, Kiernan Hodgson, and Charlie Clive who plays Sonia who is Pete's girlfriend who is from that show Pure. She's a real standout here but you have Stourton who really gives a great performance here is Pete and especially as the film goes on he is asked to do some heavy lifting in terms of like emotions and feelings and atmosphere and one of the most like impactful lines you'll hear in this movie and I won't give any other context to it is like you don't know how to take a joke and this is the whole entire discomfort and awkwardness that builds around these re attempts at rekindling these friendships is the way that you interact with your friends. And I know for a fact I'm not that kind of person who enjoys having their friends roasting me all the time. And you get into one of those situations, especially towards the end of this film, there's some real tension that starts building and it's uncomfortable you are on the edge of your seat in a lot of discomfort throughout this film. There's shocking and twisting moments where something happens out of nowhere and there seems to be a level of danger and fear, but maybe it's not quite that. It might not be what you expect, and that's where Gaynard's able to really play with your emotions and manipulate those kinds of reactions for a really impactful way. And then you have the final scenes in this film where things really come to a head and the confrontation and challenging you on whether you feel for Pete or you're on his friend's side. Who's the one doing what? Is there gaslighting going on? Because like this film feels like it's gaslighting you as an audience 
um, in terms of like trying to figure out who's really at fault for this what turns out to be kind of a train wreck of a weekend and all the way up until the very last scene in a car between two characters there is what seems to be a wonderful kind of like <sighs> letting out some of those tensions just to ch just hook you one last time at the end and you're sitting there like with this just impactful ending that is a great exclamation point on all the themes in this film. This is something very tense and uncomfortable, but funny and dark in so many different ways. I was really impressed by this, and I really hope that you all check this out on VOD. But those are my thoughts on All of My Friends Hate Me. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.